Welcome to the Dark Web Course. I'm Abby, and in this series, we're diving deep into the mysterious world of privacy, anonymity, and security on the Dark Web. So let's get started. Now, before diving into the course content, let's talk about the main topics that we're going to cover in this course. So, we're going to talk about privacy, anonymity, the dark web, and security. I chose to cover all of these topics in one course because I think they are very related. And sometimes on the Internet, it's very difficult to achieve one of them without the others. So, starting with the first one, Privacy means that no one knows what you do. For example, when you go and enter your house, people can see that you entered your house, but they don't know what you do inside the house. Therefore, you're private. Anonymity, on the other hand, means that people can see what you're doing, but they don't know who you are. For example, let's say while you're inside your house, you put a mask on, and then you leave the house and start washing your car. Now, people can see that there is somebody washing the car so they can see what you're doing. They can see the activity. But they don't know who is that person washing the car because you have a mask. Therefore, you're hiding your identity. So when you're private, people know who you are, but they don't see what you do. When you're anonymous, people see what you do, but don't know who is that person doing that activity. So they don't know your identity. Now, on the Internet, usually, we just want to be private, so we don't want other parties to be able to see the messages or the emails or whatever we do on the Internet. Unfortunately, though, it is very difficult to be private on the Internet because in order to use the Internet, you have to use resources that are not owned by you. So you have to use an Internet service provider, and when you're accessing websites or using services, you're using servers owned by these services or by third parties. Therefore, you can't really control how your data is being handled. For example, let's say you try to go to Google.com. This request will first of all pass through a number of stops or a number of routers. It'll go to your Internet service provider. Again, it'll pass through a number of routers and a number of stops and eventually reaches Google servers, which again are not controlled by you. And then you get your response through a similar route. Therefore, both your request and the response will pass through a number of stops that you don't own or don't control, so anybody operating or working on these stops will be able to see your traffic, you will be able to see your activity. Not only that, but hackers and government agencies and other entities can possibly intercept these requests and responses at any point, and therefore see what you're doing, therefore your privacy is gone. So, we use encryption whenever possible in order to improve our privacy. But like I said, there will be some points and some situations where it is just not possible to be private. Therefore, the best solution is to try to become as anonymous as possible. So if anybody manages to intercept our data, they won't be able to link it to ourselves or to our identity. Now, there are some situations where people actually want to be just anonymous. For example, journalists usually prefer to publish sensitive posts anonymously so that everybody can see the post. So it's not hidden, it's not private. But at the same time, it can't be linked to their real identity. This way, the post will be linked to some kind of identity. So it will be linked to a fake name or simply just numbers or a ghost profile but it is linked to some kind of identity. Therefore, this is known as pseudo-anonymity. Now, in order to achieve the above two things, to become more private and more anonymous, we're going to need two things. First, we're going to need an anonymizing service that will allow us to become more anonymous. And two, we're going to need to change our habits when it comes to using online services and use different services that are more private and more anonymous. Because the search engines that you're used to, for example, Google and Bing, the emails that you're used to, Gmail and the others, and all of the other services that you're used to use are simply not private and not anonymous. They profile you, they uh, collect data about you, and sometimes even sell it to third parties. Unfortunately, on the clear net, 
there aren't a lot of useful online services that are private and anonymous. Luckily, though, the anonymizing services that we're going to use from point one in order to become more anonymous also contain a number of services and websites that only exist within this anonymizing service or network. Therefore, these are referred to as darknet or dark web websites or services. So I'm going to show you how to properly access the darknet and then use these services to carry out our day-to-day -day tasks in a more anonymous and more private manner. Last but not least, I also wanted to cover security in this course because you cannot be private and anonymous if you're not secure. Even if you're using the best privacy methods, the best anonymity methods, the best VPNs, and multiple proxies and so on, if somebody manages to hack into your computer, then first of all, they'll be able to see all of your files and see your activity so you're not private. And they'll also be able to bypass whatever methods you used to become anonymous and de-anonymize you. That's why, like I said, you can't really be private and anonymous without being secure. And by being private and anonymous, you're going to have to use some darknet services. Therefore, I'll have to teach you how to access the darknet and use it. So, the four topics really click with each other, and when you learn these topics, you'll be able to use them and apply them in different situations. You might be at a scenario that I can't think of that requires you to be a little bit private or anonymous. So, you'll be able to learn whatever techniques I teach you in here in terms of anonymity or privacy and apply them to whatever situation that you're in.